Hi guys, video time. All right, so as some of you may know, I went back to being things. Uh, because some people, excuse me, some people looked up Tasha Dreamer and got a whole bunch of other different results. So now if you look up this username, it's not as confusing and everything else. So yeah, so I went back to this username. So hopefully that won't be <laughs> as weird and everything else to have some of you as on your two different usernames. But nonetheless, back for the video. This will really be another kind of like hair video. Um, uh, one of my friends needs help with uh drawing. Pretty much doing hair, two different color hair video, so I'm going to do that for her, and then this will probably be help with, like, you know, anybody that needs help with, uh, you know, that, so these will be the hair and everything, uh, I'm not going to do a full head of hair, I'm just kind of going to do, uh, some strands of hair and try not to be picky about it. But update with me, I got a desktop before as most of you may know, I was working with my laptop a lot. But now I got a desktop, I just got it last week. So I worked with setting up with that and everything. So yeah, I set that up and it's kind of nice. And I'm still using my laptop and everything. So I now I have like a double screen. I'm not really using it as like a double monitor or anything. It just kind of like you know, kind of like a. Uh, I have one open as like wherever I want, like usually like Facebook or whatever, and then I have the other one open as like art, and then I use it as like two different screens, but it still pretty much has the same purpose. So it's still kind of nice, and all that drag. So that's kind of nice. I actually really like it, everything, I'm kind of iffy at first. Just to get it across and all that great guys. Uh, but yeah. It's really nice so far. Alright, so I got the hair. Um, few things. Some people do it like, saying like this way. Which I should probably do. Like I say, these are the two colors. So some people do it like, do it underneath the lines that will probably be a big help so if I want to do it purple and green so some people will do it like this and do it that way now there's other way to do it that might be a little bit easier if you didn't want to make the hassle of like blending the two and everything that's a little bit I want to say a little bit harder but if you're a little bit more if it could be harder for some if you didn't want to do it that way, you could always do get by black again. And I couldn't remember what pen size over that crap. Um, you could always do like this will be a purple, and then do more hair. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> My bad. I'm like doing this myself. Um, this sometimes can be a little bit more challenging too, but you can always do like an extra layer, kind of like more layer here, down here, and you could do. You could do like this part green. 
so I mean that's like a little bit like complicated sometimes for people instead of trying to do it all blendy so then you can just do it like two different parts but kept you but I'm gonna do it the fade way just because I'm assuming that's kind of what she wants to do and everything that's in a more a little bit more of the challenging way so once you got your hair down oops, I'm gonna do the purple on top so I just do it this way I usually try to make it if you have two it's a little bit more easier but I usually try to make it in the middle and most if possible and then I smear it and everything make sure you try to keep like obviously make sure this looks like purple and this looks like yes baby my baby is talking to me Yes. Mm -hmm. You should not draw today. No, mommy doing a video. But <sighs> now I'm struggling with my child, but make sure the only thing that you want to make sure to do is that especially with because this is such a small area is that make sure you want to keep this color to be purple and this color to be green the middle you want to like have a green area and everything else but you just want to make sure the top and bottom are still the solid colors as possible otherwise you just gonna look muddy and kind of all meshed together and you don't want that so but if you do end up getting like oh well I think I gradient too far down or whatever you can always go back and go like this and everything and there you go I go like that and then you can go back and sometimes it could be the fact that you know well you know maybe my smearing tool or blur tool is a little bit too big and that's sometimes always the case too I see that see that kind of blurred a little bit better too so that could always be it that so but no baby <laughs> no. Cool. And then you can kind of go back and blow it up there because I think it got a little bit too green. It's kind of like a give and take and everything. I kind of think it will work out better when, you know, if you have a bigger area. After you get everything, you kind of like it. You go back and you so do the select wall tool. This only works to if you have closed areas. If your area like lines are open at any size, it's not gonna work. So if I select, if you go back to make sure you're on your line work layer, or uh, not line work layer, uh, your line. You, the layer you have your lines on click it and if you had like open lines it would actually end up clicking the inside of this and you don't want that because then you're going to end up erasing the middle of that uh, um no! look but so it looks like we're all good and everything <laughs> I am sorry if that's like super loud because he's right next to my mic and everything. He really wants to draw with my tablet because sometimes I let him. So once that's all good, you have this like blue shade around. That means that that all area is selected. So go to your eraser tool. I usually go to the big one. B. 
because that's easier to erase with. Go back down to your coloring area and then you erase the outside. Ta -da. And then to unselect everything, you can either go to selection up here and click clear, and that will do it, or you can just hit control D and that will also do it. I usually hit control D because that's where, that's what I do. But that would be that, and that way you have your hair. And now for coloring, I'll put it in my folder like I normally do because I like my folders as most of you may didn't know. <coughs> this video is probably going to be longer than I expected because my child already wants my pan. My baby. My baby. <coughs> no. I am not a professional <laughs> person with videos. I am <coughs> so sorry whoever watches me and start comparing me to others. No, baby. <laughs> okay. So, for people who want to color two different yeah. colors. Yeah. No, baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you have watched my other hair tutorials before, <clears throat> it kind of like the same project, same steps that I normally do. Uh, if you, it works if you have a lighter and darker color, then I usually, what I do then, I use the light color for the lighter areas and the dark color for the darker areas. Then you usually end up doing getting like that cool texture of the different colors too. So the purple is kind of darker, so I'll probably use the darker colors for that. So go down to my brush tool and give me my modes. It didn't really take much. Oh, we're gonna go down here. Uh, and you want more detail, I'll put a link in the description down below with uh, my other hair tutorials. So then that way it will be a little bit more, you know, you know what I'm doing, kind of with the groups and everything. I did do another hair tutorial. So I may not explain everything in this one. I'll go up here. Pick my... Smell like pooey. No, we can have a bit stuffy. <laughs> yup. just the same basic stuff that I do with my other <laughs> hair. Uh, 
No, you can't have my candy either, Vincent. He just wants everything. If it doesn't work out where it's like, you know, the green down here mixed with the purple, just because it gonna look icky. I'll just do purple up here, some purple down here, some purple, you know, in between. And then I'll switch over and I'll do, I don't think this would be, yeah, this is not going to be really dark. With these pastel colors, I will always do a little bit darker greens and everything. Maybe this one. Yeah. I'll always do a little bit darker greens. Just to get the shading down, just because I can't do pastels for the life of me. I really can't. They drive me nuts. If it's too dark, I just... I just they just drive me nuts. I, I, ha I have, or if it's too light, I mean, I, ha I have to, I have to have darkness, darkness in my soul. But then I just kind of smear the ends. And then there you go. <laughs> Then we'll do it again. With a smaller brush. You know, flower. Now I swish it and I'll do some purple or some green. And if you do want to keep the lightness of, like, you know, the pastel kind of like color, you don't want to do a lot of it, obviously, otherwise, you're going to lose that tone. So. I mean, I don't recommend you doing a lot. Kind of like, you know, get the point across and then get out. And then you can smear it again. And then we go to the light. And then, of course, you want to go grab your other green stuff, that darker green. And then the purple should be okay for the light now just because it's the right color and they're all that great guy, too. So that should be a problem. They'll pretty much gonna probably be the same type of lightness, so you could probably go all the way down with everything. With these pastel colors, they're usually, uh, the screen will make it, uh, pretty white. 
still, none the rest, it would be like that, so. Everybody likes to add shine. That I will turn around and add a shine. If it could be white, you could always try like a different color. Like if it could be white, I sometimes don't like doing just a plain white shine. I'll sometimes try to do like maybe a different type of green. So that would do like a maybe more bluish green. And this green will do like a white again. You could always try blue, and that would do kind of like that. You could try a purple. That would do white. Yeah, I'm gonna do this type of green. And then that way it will do that. And I think I'm gonna do it right down here. Yes, baby! I don't know where he is. He has ran off from me. Oh, he is talking to the movie. He's getting mad at Oogie Boogie. He's walking Nightmare for Christmas. But, yeah, just smear it and everything. And not everybody gonna like that. Some people prefer the white and everything, but this is just me. So, smear it. And you can even smear both the top and everything else. I usually just smear the bottom and then I go up and down with the top and everything I do more so on some areas. And then when I lower it, it will have that kind of line effect. Yes, baby. I am almost done. Promise. And then for the strings of hair, you could do, what I like to do is just, mix. I'll do like kinda uh, do the purple down here, kinda like that, and then turn around and do the green. Even though I did purple over here already, I'll do like a green too. Just to kinda show both. And then, shit, I did that in the same layer. Do over! For the outline, just because now that I know it's that again on the same layer, um, well, I'll get that layer, just because, yeah. Anyways, do the lines again. Oops. If you don't want like it to be like the same color sometimes i'll do uh it like a little bit darker or a little bit lighter too then they're like original base colors and then you can actually see it when you color them like over and everything And then, and because it is two different colors, you could do like a darker purple with like, I'm gonna do that darker green that I did down here. So, do. I know, 
You're all mad at me now because I took away your toy. Multitasking, being a parent, and art at the same time. Wow. But and then I would just, you know, do it that way. And then I smear in the middle. I kind of like be, you know, persistent. Uh, it might look a little bit mucky at first. And you can always make it a little bit lighter too. That purple kind of dark. So. I could probably do if you wanted to kind of do something like this everything no I'm good I was gonna say if you wanted to like oh well these colors are kind of good you should could, could do like the outline and everything the like extra lines to make the lines pop you could do it the same thing but then you won't you may not see it and everything, so it might not be a good idea. But, that would be that. And that would be my video. Thanks for watching. Have a super spectacular day. And just remember, you're all stars. And if I can actually get my pen working. You're all stars, so keep on shining. That was actually a pretty big star. There we go. Yeah, stars. I really like my desktop. Woo! But yep, I'm gonna let you guys go. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully it helps. And have a good day. Bye. Bye. My son is saying bye as well. There you go. You get a double bye.